Today, we're putting some TikTok recipes to the test, and who better to be in the kitchen than the TikTok queen? It is Poppy O'Toole. She's back! Ah, run, <laughs> quick, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and Barry's here. Oh, I'm happy you're here. Thanks, babe. Let's do this. Number one, Barry, you have a message. Oh, it's me. I've sent you the Shame. video to watch. <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? Oh, okay, right. Okay, people, let's make that Filipino dessert I've been seeing all over my FYP. Ooh, Ooh, a recipe of someone who's never made this thing before. Um, no, but I've been to Mexico with her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although she's cutting that, makes me nervous. It's so soft. I have seen, mm. I've not seen this petite, but I've seen this. Because I spend my whole life on TikTok, so yeah. Oh, this is good. What? Out of a 10, I would give this a 9. That's quite generous. I love avocados. Yeah. Shout out to the Philippines. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of making avocado so sweet, ice creamy, slushy thing. Sweet avocado milkshake. Do you want to try it and we'll have a chat about it? Yeah. So you have all of the ingredients in front of you. Start making it, see how you get on. If we mess this up. <laughs> yeah, we don't deserve to be here. No, I'll do avocado. Okay, I'll do the ice. I love an avocado. I can see how avocado works in a dessert quite well because it is my oh, butter, definitely. isn't it? So the interesting thing about this dish is not only is it a viral TikTok sensation, like a copy, uh, but it's also actually a traditional Filipino dessert. Okay. Three ingredients. It's called avocado lamao. It's popular in the Philippines, but also in Vietnam and Indonesia. Um, and it's sometimes made with milk and sugar instead of condensed milk. Gotcha. Right, condensed milk. Do you need more avocado? No, I think we're good. We're good. Mixy, okay. mixy. That looks really And this is a dessert actually. rather than a drink, so yeah. I don't want to mix it too much. And you heard um, Zion crushing through the ice. You, it is meant to be yeah. like crunchy crunch. Right, we're done. Mm. Mm. Avocado and condensed milk, what are we thinking? Oh, this is delicious. I love this. Condensed milk is incredibly sweet and the avocado kind of like freshens it up massively. And it has that creamy texture. It does feel like a milkshake. Yeah, yeah, it feels like a crunchy milkshake. Ooh. It's like a melted milky bar. Yeah. Can you see why this has become so popular on TikTok? Yes. Three ingredients. Yeah. No prep work, really. And very tasty. Good product for minimum effort. Yeah. And a good way of saving an avocado when it's too soft to use yeah, that. in a salad. Mm. Chuck it in a smoothie. <laughs> Would you make this at home? I think I will now, actually. Yeah. I'm, I like it as it is, but I feel like you could also, you know how peas mm. are a replacement for avocado sometimes now? I could see peas in it, mm -hmm. mashed, because it's a similar sort of chlorophyll -y sort of green taste. We've never described food as chlorophyll -y before. But I've pronounced it wrong anyway, so it's fine. Chlor 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 chloroform -y? Chlor No, but what's That's the one you... Spill that. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I don't know, it just tastes green. Oh, no, chlorophyll. 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 Green stuff green. Yeah. Chlorophyll. Yeah. Avocado is something that, again, I only use in savoury things. But with a bit of condensed milk, it's really good. Well, we've had to quickly think of a way of uh, deciding whether you like this or not. So, are you going to scroll, scroll fast, fast or, or follow, follow fast? fast? <laughs> You're going to make this stick, aren't you? Yep. Follow fast! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's move on to number two. Next up. Yeah. Now, how could we have the queen of potatoes in the studio and not do a potato TikTok trend? Barry, play you the video. You must have seen this. You could be a dad, never got a sweet dad. I'll be the rubber band. You could be a match. I'll be a dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, love this. Yeah, yeah. Cute, I like that. Now, hash brown in a sandwich as a middle layer Standard, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. As the outside, mm. ooh, now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. You are not wrong. Would you like to give it a go? Yeah. Please. So to me, yep. this looks like a cracking way to upgrade your avocado on toast. So we thought, why not make some smashed avocado? We give you some eggs, some hot sauce, some herbs, and then we'll give you some hash browns to put them on. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? We only need. We're not going to. We're not making loads, are we? I've oh, never, never ever, like ever. <laughs> I really thought that you progressed a lot in this, like recent that, years, but you've just gone back a few. Just give me a squeeze now. 
To be to be fair. To be I've fair. Done a lot of avocado to be fair. Toast. To be fair. It's a good way of squeezing it out, you see? I genuinely never cut an avocado like that or seen it before. It's quite interesting actually. I usually cut it in the middle that way and then just squeeze it out. Right, that's all we need. Okay. One egg. So we don't need one egg, don't we? It's OTT. Egg, don't so Pops, you use potatoes in lots of different ways. As a bread or toast replacement? I, yeah, reckon? I can see it. Yeah? I can really see it. Okay, um, right. Should I chop some herbs? Oh yes, please, love. Okay. Because I don't I don't trust your chopping anymore after that avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Hot sauce in your smashed egg. It's makes delicious. all the difference in the world. Yeah. Love that. I like the fact that it's like a smashed boiled egg as well. So there's yeah. no like poaching, it's like easy, nice little breakfast filler. Hash browns out? And I know we're a cooking channel, but where do you stand on making hash browns as opposed to buying the frozen ones? Uh, see, I'd always make my own roshti, but never make a hash brown. Yeah, roshti, yeah. roshti is like, it's charm as in how rough it is. Like you want crispy edges, you want it to like burn a little bit on both sides. You kind of, it needs to be homemade. These, the, the point of them is them being uniform, easy to bake. From what I know when I've made them, is that a roshti is grated and using clarified butter a lot of the time. I use clarified butter in my roshti. Yeah. Uh, to keep it together. Whereas hash brown seems like little chunks. It's not quite, it's, they're never they quite are, they're as square, grated. They? They're little square bits. Yeah, and I've always tried to imitate the frozen hash browns, but it's really hard. Looking good, guys. We've tried to make them look fancy as canapes. They're easy, I guess, to eat, but I think, I think for a breakfast item on a a whopping big, <laughs> go on. <laughs> on a whopping big hash brown, I think I could get behind. So from a bread replacement, what are you looking for in terms of taste, structure, rigidity? That's a good word. Thank you. Rigidity, like that. You need a little bit of crunch texture because you're getting like the toast, toasted element. Um, and then just, I'm looking for just carb. As yeah. long as there's a carb it's, it's just a vehicle to get it to my mouth, isn't it, really? What I noticed is you didn't butter the hash browns with <laughs> no. the avocado and egg on. That would be quite good, though. No, don't encourage him. Ooh. <laughs> don't encourage him. Ooh. Right. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Baz, you are a big-time avocado on toast connoisseur. Of course. How does that compare? To my favourite breakfast, avocado on toast. Eggs on toast. <laughs> I mean, it's not rocket science. It's brilliant. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, really good. I think that's delicious. Especially if you did it with a big rosti. Imagine like a one for breakfast, mm. like in the pan. And then the avocado on there. You could do your poached eggs or your yeah, thing. Yeah, fried egg on top yeah. hands there as well. Well, we had the trend a few years ago with the sweet potato toast. Do you remember we actually put oh, yeah, slices of sweet potato in the, the, the toaster. toaster? I'll be honest with you. I came on here two years ago now. And at the time, I was terribly nervous and I had absolutely no idea, in the nicest way possible, I had no idea who you were. And I feel like I owe an apology to everybody. But on the first challenge that we ever did, and it was testing out, again, TikTok trends, yeah. but you were making spins on them. <laughs> but I was so confused by everyone's nicknames that I couldn't remember who any of you were or your name. So when you gave us the winner? So Mike was the only one I could remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. But honestly, I think because I was like, what's oh spat? no, what's what's what's, spat? what's, what's, <laughs> what's ever? I was like, oh, I don't understand. Did we do have a lot of names, don't we? We do just, have a lot. Yeah, the, the, the three names is a lot to remember. And I literally, well, yeah, three. I mean, it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? But I was so like scared, and I was like, Mike, Susie, oh. don't worry, all is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> We've come a long way, guys. We've got Amazing, a, I, thank it's, you. It's been heavy on my on my really? on my oh, conscience. Okay. So you no waited idea. until Mike wasn't here. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost. I think the bacon fifteen hour potato is probably best. But yeah, the hash brown brevers is great. <laughs> yeah, really do. Right. So are you going to scroll past, or are you going to follow fast? I'm I'm following fast again. I'm scrolling past her. <laughs> are you ready for number three? Send me a message. Wow, oh, yeah. that is amazing. That's yeah, good, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, this looks amazing. Right, I've seen this before. This is called French ravioli. Oh, God, glad you're here. Oh, this looks really good. 
Oh, that's really cool. Oh, there's a mold that's for it. That's really cool. That looks like a white chocolate bar. Yeah, it does look like a white chocolate bar. And then it's... Mm. And then it's... Oh, white right, bowl then fried. Yes, yes, yes. Butter! Butts of butter. So, Badge, you've seen this one before? Yeah, I think it's called French ravioli. In that it's ravioli, but they don't cut it up. They leave it as one big... They do the cut it up. Is that what makes <laughs> it French? Cut it up. <laughs> uh, this is ravioli de Dauphine. Uh, it's pasta oh. that's not claimed by Italy and is from France. Right. Yes! You. Knowledge! It's blown up on TikTok because the executive chef at a restaurant called Cafe Chelsea in New York, uh, he experienced them on a trip to France. So Dauphiné is a former province in southeastern France. And I'm going to tell you all of this whilst we make some. Yay! Oh, we're making it a panic. scratch. Okay. Mm. Now, in that video, you noticed the really handy yeah. mould, didn't yeah, you? I've yeah, yeah, we don't have one of those. Oh, okay. I'm thinking... Which is a single chopstick. How big Just a shoe stuff. <laughs> what does this what does this do? <laughs> what does this do? Now! It's trunch ball, right? I mean the I mean no. Hook at a bar! <laughs> Bowls of Lloyd and Harry Potter! <laughs> hook at a bar! Hook at a bar! <laughs> I don't really watch it! I just know there's something like that with Voldemort, isn't there? Hook at a Hook at a bar! <laughs> Stop it! Do you like your jumper? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another rolling pin? Have we got another one? Is there one in there? Yes. This is, this is a modeler, isn't there's it? A big, there's also a bigger one. Thanks, Dave. This is good muscle memory. This is called the uh, Superman rolling pin. <laughs> 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 so in the video, they went for a Comte and Creme Fresh filling. Today, we're going for cream cheese and spinach. Lovely! Dauphiné, the... Uh, province in southeastern France. You might recognise it from Potato Dauphinois. Oh, we Potato Dauphine oui. as well. Oh, formidable. It's actually next to Italy. Does it have to be a specific filling? We're going for spinach and cream cheese. No, no, I don't <laughs> But is there, is there like to, traditional to the... Sorry, I know you might not know all of this off the top of your head. Let me check this other colour. Okay, cool. Yeah, it, it is typically <laughs> Comte and creme fraiche. So I reckon if we... Have this as like, okay. and then we go one, two, four, blob, blob, blob. Oh, good. Blob. Okay, right. Thank you. You can. See, it feels bold. Really? It's nice that you let Barry have a try. Or oh, she's doing it. Love, right, yeah. You're not making you're not making a sound effect. What do I need to do? Magic. Magic. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm moving, it. moving, moving. Is that or not? Oh my goodness, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's, she's moving. It. Ah! Oh. oh. Okay, love that. Is it ready? Yeah, no, I can have a three seconds. Baste it, baste it, baste it, baste it. Baste it. Baste it. Yeah, we ah! ah! did it! <laughs> it was like a last minute flip though. I know, I know, like, I've, I had it. I've had it. Okay, good, 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 good. That looks blooming delicious, that. So again, this is another one of those recipes that is an actual recipe yeah. in a place in the world that has just found its place on TikTok and become a viral hit. Sorry. It's a fiddly thing to make yourself. But I would not be surprised if you started seeing something like this in supermarkets. Right, you got, you got it in, you got it in confidently, get it out confidently. Wow, that's why you go viral. <laughs> <laughs> right then, bon appetit. And quite thick pasta. Mm. Mm. So I'm trying to work out what we're comparing this to. Are we comparing this to normal ravioli? In that video, it looks just as refined. It's been made a thousand times and they've now the process and they have those moulds. Mm. Doing it by hand is a tricky, tricky, pro <laughs> tricky process and there's room for error. <laughs> it tastes like pancakes. It does taste like pancakes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It tastes like lemon pancakes. Lemon pa <laughs> <laughs> With too much butter. Mm. 
but it's worthy of the recognition because it is nice. It's difficult only because of the technique of trying to get all the air bubbles out, but not actually cut yeah. it. The ravioli dauphiné, are you going to scroll past or follow fast? If I'm in a restaurant, I will follow. Fast. Follow fast. Mm -hmm. If I'm cooking at home, scroll past. I'll follow fast. I'll follow through. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we do one more? <laughs> Right then, to finish us off, Baz, you have a message. Have you heard of pink sauce? It's so good, and here's how to make it. Blend together dragon How's fruit, lemon juice, and garlic fruit powder. Then juice. in a bowl, mix okay, together it's just, mayo, it's just garlic a heavy powder. pink sauce. A packet of ranch, and the dragon fruit mixture. Cute. That's dragon it, fruit. and now you, you can have a dye. pink dipping sauce. So it's just <laughs> pink, pink, pink ranch dressing. dressing. Oh, sir, oh. I remember this. Oh, yes. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, hang on a second. <laughs> um, sir, so oh, please, oh, please, 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 please. Um, I do remember this. Yes. Didn't someone get like arrested for like selling pink sauce, but it was like dodged? This went big and it went bad after the creator actually um, decided to sell it for themselves and um, was then shipping the pink sauce around the US, but it had milk in it and it wasn't refrigerated and oh. there was worries about things like botulism. Oh. Valid. However, this is a food safe version of that recipe. Would you like to give the pink dipping sauce a try? Is it our version or is it one that's been shipped here? Ben's had the milk out for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Fermented pink sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, I would love to try this. It looks gorgeous. Wow, it? look at that. It gets the wow factor. Yeah. It's a it's cucumber meets the kiwi, but pink. The two really flavoursome <laughs> vegetables and fruits. Okay. okay, right. So we blend that first, don't we? Then we mix and then blend it all in. We'll just blend it a little bit first. Chuck it, chuck it all in. Why? Chuck I reckon in. chuck it all Get in. Get it all in. Oh. We're good, we're good. I mean, it does look... It's very it's a inviting. Good colour. It's a good colour. It does look a bit like yoghurt, though. It does. Like, Doesn't it, look it, right it, next to chips. No, maybe not. Dippy, 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 dippy. Right, this doesn't feel right. It feels no. like I'm dipping it into a smoothie. Ooh, tinky winky chip. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. It, it tastes, tastes like ranch sauce. Tastes like watered down ranch sauce. It feels, <laughs> it feels like a waste of ingredients because the ranch sauce on its own does a job. If there's something into it, it's a waste, especially such a beautiful thing like that. If you'd put beetroot in it, at least then it'll give you the colour and the flavour as well. Mm -hmm. To be fair, we haven't followed an exact recipe. We've no. looked at kind of the ratios that we thought would make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason done well on TikTok is visually, it's fascinating. Having that go with creamy stuff yeah. and to make something that looks that, that amazing on a chip is why it's been shared so much. So are we going to scroll past or follow fast? Straight past! <laughs> Well, it feels like we tackled a few different ones today, from novelty ones like this to uh, ones that are actually traditional recipes that we just might not have seen before. What's your overall takeaway? The traditional recipes work mm. much better, and it's good to see that they're coming to light on social media and getting the recognition they deserve. I'd agree that the, the two dishes that were traditional methods, where the internet has watered to more people, mm. they are fascinating. The other two, visual stimulation with no substance. Spoken from the person who Go has on. lots Go of on. visual stimulation and no substance. But over That's to you in the comments down below. Let us know what did you think of those TikTok that, food trends? Have you fair. seen any that we should be testing ourselves? No, Comment them down below and let us know. That's and not... Poppy, a massive thank you for coming thank in. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great to have Polly in the studio. So comment down below. <laughs> Check out all of her links downstairs. <laughs> Yeah, great video, guys. Well done, everyone. What's up, what? Can I just talk about my book really quick? We're finished. No, 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 please. I spent a whole day here for no <laughs> other reason. I spent a whole day writing it. <laughs> I have a book, and it's called The Actually Delicious Air Fry Cookbook, if you want to fancy seeing it. It's really good. It's a Sunday Times bestseller. I bought it with my own money. Did you really? Yeah, I made it a Sunday Times bestseller with my own money, oh, my and God. we made um, the cheesecake brownies. I'll sign it for you. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone.